Well, hello everybody. I thought we'd just do a meatloaf. I usually use uh, for breadcrumbs in my meatloaf, Italian breadcrumbs, but I only had a little bit left, like a couple tablespoons. So I used three fourths cups of milk and I used three slices of bread. I just broke up really small for the breadcrumbs and the last two tablespoons of my Italian breadcrumbs. And I just let the bread soak into the milk for about five minutes, okay? And just sit there and let it soak it all right up, all right? And that's gonna be our binder besides two eggs, all right? And in here, in this bowl, I have two and a half pounds of ground beef, the 80-20. And you can use uh, dry powdered mustard, regular mustard, Dijon mustard, whatever. I just threw in a tablespoon of regular French's mustard and about, oh, I'd say a couple tablespoons of ketchup. And we're gonna use a couple teaspoons of Italian seasoning. This is my homemade Italian seasoning. A couple teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And I made my own uh, brown sugar. You can use light or dark. This happens to be dark, and I'm going to use about three fourths of a cup. Okay, put that all right in there. Your two eggs, and your breadcrumb mixture mixed with the milk. And then in this bowl, I have a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a couple teaspoons of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of onion powder, and a couple teaspoons of uh, dried parsley uh, flakes. You could use fresh parsley if you'd like. Okay, just throw that all right in there. And we're gonna mix this all together real nice. And then we're going to shape it into a patty. And I'm just using a 13 by 9 that I lightly greased with some Crisco. Or you could use a baking sheet pan, whatever you'd like. Line it with some foil and spray it. And then shape your mixture into uh, whatever shape you'd like. All right. And you're going to set your oven to 350. And we're going to bake it for like 40 minutes and then we're going to make a glaze now you can use whatever kind of topping you like on your meatloaf i'm just going with a cup of ketchup a couple teaspoons of garlic powder a teaspoon of onion powder a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper and one and a half tablespoons of white vinegar and three tablespoons of brown sugar. And then after this meatloaf bakes for around 40 minutes, then we're going to take it out and we're going to put our glaze on top and then cook it for another 20 minutes on 350. Okay. Make sure everything's mixed good. And there's nothing to it. There's so many ways of making meatloaf. And I've put it into so many different shapes, depending on what month of the year it is, just to make it cute for the grandkids and stuff. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna make it a good binder. All right. And now let's get out our pan. And let's get it shaped. And I like mine a little bit wet because it'll come out so moist, okay? Some people even uh, use, instead of breadcrumbs, whether you make your own or if you're using store-bought Italian breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs, you could use uh, cracker crumbs, whatever it is that you like. And that's all there is to it. Now we're gonna bake it for a good 40 minutes at 350 degrees, okay?
Okay, the meatloaf is done. And now I'll give it a try. You know, you could also put the Lipton French onion soup recipe into it if you'd like. So, there's so many ways of making it. Okay, and if you can see that, you see how nice that came out? Now we'll take a little taste. It's gonna be really hot because I just cooked it. That's good. All right, everybody. That's it. Nice and easy. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.